Hello, E. Hey, and welcome to Let's Learn Lead Guitar, lesson number 16. Yes. Oh, boy, it's going to be fun. I was just uh, uh, rehearsing for, uh, from a little bit of yesterday's lesson. So number 15, Let's Learn Lead Guitar, number 15. You can go look in the playlist if you want to catch up on that one. But we're getting good, aren't we? We're getting good at learning lead guitar. We're getting good at lead guitar, or at least learning lead guitar. So that was a little bit alliterative. No, what's it called when alliteration is with consonants? There's a different word for it. I don't want to say attonation, but something along those lines. Anyhow, today we're going to learn about the major pentatonic scale in blues, improv, improv improvisation, and the vibrato. Um, so we've got the, let's see here. So we've got the major scale here in the blues scale. So screen cap. Be ready on the screen cap. Captain Freddy, comment ça va toi, monsieur? T'as de ta, ta guitare avec toi? On y va, hein? On va apprendre comment jouer le solo guitare. Um, so this is the blues scale right here. And um, we're going to be combining pentatonic and blues. And then this is sort of the pentatonic right here. Uh, this is an extension and it includes some of the notes. What you're gonna have to do is go back and look at the earlier lessons to uh, get all that down. So this is what, to uh, comprehend that, and you can uh, look at it in that manner. Um, let's see, the, uh, the pentatonic is more the do, re, mi sort of situation, so. Something along those lines. <laughs> you get the idea. I, I have to practice myself. Let me see if I, I can reference that real quick. Here. Um, so, uh, hope everyone's doing well. The um, I recorded some backing tracks, and we'll be uh, playing around with that a little bit later here. Uh, and we're going to be using employing the extension of the pentatonics. But today, the main focus is the major scale in blues improvisation. So here, this is what we're going to do. It's sort of a little bit of a Chuck Berry-inspired riffage there. You can see that? And you can see it's divided in pentatonic and blues and pentatonic and blues. Now, if you would like a downloadable link to, like, a nice clean and typed or, you know, something that's not handwritten, a document that you can read or print or forward or decorate your room with, just leave me a note in the comments, mm -hmm. and uh, while you're at it, while you're commenting, be sure to like, hit that little heart or whatever, uh, thumb or whatever there is there, and subscribe so that you won't miss a single episode, a single lesson, I should say, and also um, share it. I'm sure you have a loved one who would be delighted to learn lead guitar from. So let's try this uh, Chuck Berry inspired little riff here. See what it goes. So we start on the sixth fret of the third string, and then we go to the fifth and seventh. That's dirty, huh? bend at the end. That's fun, huh? So let's try it again. So six on the third, five on the second, seven on the second, and then we play the fifth fret on the first and second string simultaneously. And then we sixth on the third string again, and then five and jump up to the seven on the second string. So. And then down, we're playing the fifth fret, but on the third and second string. And it's the same sort of shape. And with the same sixth fret, fifth, set, fifth and seventh fret on the uh, third and second string. And then back up top to the first and second string on the fifth fret. And then we end up 
with a bend on the fifth and the seventh fret of the uh, second and third string. Like we learned, uh, when was it? Was it yesterday? Now, now we're going to try to do the vibrato. So the vibrato is when you've got a instead of just a you, know, you put a little bit of a and we should you know get used to it with all of our four fingers there everything that's not the thumb or maybe we could do it with the thumb too oh so there you go huh so let's try this chuck berry again So that's fun, huh? And then don't forget the vibrato. You can, uh, what you can do is you can like uh, bend up to a vibrato. You could go. You see, you, see, you just sort of rocking your. And you can do it any way you want. You can. Sometimes I, I just twist it. But you can also do a quick bend like that. So, I went to the... So, what we can do is we can try using the blues and the pentatonic scale, which are more or less the same thing. Let's see, but, well, the pentatonic is... It's got that sort of that do re mi sort of idea to it. So I made all these backing tracks and what we're gonna to try to do is a jam using the pentatonic, a minor pentatonic scale, which is basically just this. So fifth fret, well, you start on any fret, but what you start on is the root of the key of the chord progression. So if it was, we were playing a progression in A, you don't have to worry about this aspect of theory at the moment, but if we were playing a progression in A, a minor even, we could start on the 5th fret of uh, the 6th string because this is the root 6, it's the A note. And the, the shape looks like this, so it's uh, in respect uh, to the others. It's, so you go on the 1st, 4th, 1st, 3rd, 1st, 3rd, 1st, 3rd, 1st, 4th, 1st, 4th. No. And if you're down here, you know, if you're going to play something in E, because this right here, where the string hits the nut is the E. And so you go open, open two, open two, open three, open four, uh, three, open three, open two, open two, open two, open three, open. If you have any questions, be sure to write them in the comments. If you have any questions at all, if you'd like that. And while you're writing in the comments, um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and uh, tell your loved ones. Tell all of you, anyone who wants to learn to be a six-string samurai in the pantheon of axe-grinding deities like ourselves, please, please feel free to invite them. So, um, for instance, here, that one I was just uh, jamming to is, an a, is a minor progression, chord progression that, in the key of A minor. So, listen... So we start on the A root six. And we can incorporate.
incorporate all the techniques we've learned before, like the slide, the bend, to add a little bit of expression. And then what do we do with the, uh, the tremolo pick? That's fun. Let's try a different chord progression. This one is starts on A, so we're going to be in the same space. We're going to start on the fifth fret on the sixth string again, uh, right here. Let me just change this over real quick. Here, oh, that's nice. This one I think is a major, but we're playing the same notes, but the same positions. forget that we can play this on the up here above the 12th fret on the same position. Let's try a different progression. Let's see what this sounds like. This starts, oh no, excuse me, that started in E, oh no, okay. So that was wrong. Let's uh, let's do this. So that's why it sounds a little bit odd. So we're starting with the E, which is down here, which is open. The E is also right here at the 12th fret. So we'll play that same pattern. Oh yeah, it sounds nicer, huh? And then what we can do is we can go down here and remember, that we play the open string instead of pressing on the first fret. And, both, and everything's uh, all relative. Excuse me for that little misstep. And then here, we're going to start on the A. This one is the A. Right here. Oop, what is going on there? All right. So, sounds like this. This one starts on A. And don't forget your alternate picking. That means you're going like this. as opposed to it's a good uh, thing to practice and let's see this next one is, starts on is basically in the key of G you might recognize this riff Or no, let's do this next one that starts with E as well.
all the way up on the 12th. One more. This one is um, a little riff that you might recognize. Sort of a 60s garage rack sort of situation. Oops. Hey. Girl. So we're going to start the third fret for this one. had enough fun for this evening huh so everyone have a good weekend and we'll get back to lesson number uh 17 17 8 17 when we come back because that was 16 right. yeah lucky less lesson 16 all right bizu thanks for joining and don't forget you know what to do like subscribe share share comment thanks bizu <laughs>